morning. Okay, guys, so uh, today's job is to relocate this Valent Pro 28 from where it is in the garage to the other side of this wall, which, as you can see, is a stair area. So we need to just relocate it on the inside. Uh, slightly different to a typical combi boiler setup here, as you can see. So what we have here a solar thermal uh, cylinder, so solar panels, and then we have a cylinder uh, upstairs in the loft. Uh, and these two pipes, these two plastic pipes that, that you see going into this manifold here, that's where all the magic happens. So basically a typical setup for a combi boiler would be floor, hot water, gas pipe, cold water inlet, and return pipe. What we have in here is balanced cold water comes in and if you can track this pipe it goes into this manifold and then it also goes down and up to the cylinder at the top and then from the cylinder we have hot water come in and it's going into this manifold from the bottom so that's connected to the back part there. Okay, so that's what's going to the cylinder upstairs and coming back from the cylinder. So that's the cold supply sorted. From the manifold now, we have a cold water supply, balanced cold water supply coming out, going in to the boiler as cold feed, and then it's just feeding the heating circuit through the filling loop as and when needed, so they can use it as a top up. So that's cold water coming out at the top, and then at the bottom is where your hot water goes up to the property so that's the hot water supply basically whether it's from the cylinder through that pipe when the cylinder water upstairs is warm through the panels up on the roof or whether it's coming from the boiler itself so that hot water is connected to this combi boiler as you can see there so that hot water pipe that's connected to the combi boiler so when there's enough hot water in the cylinder that comes down and it supplies through that pipe that's coming down from the cylinder uh, and then it feeds it through that and when that runs out it basically reverts back to the combi boiler and it just works at the combi boiler basically up until the cylinder cylinders warm again so that's what this looks like here now there's a lot of pipe work that we have to relocate um, so that's hot and cold supplies so that needs to be shifted because this this uh, this garage is actually getting converted into a bedroom. Uh, so there's a lot of pipe work in the way. Uh, we have heating pipes, main feeds coming down currently, running on the floor that we have to relocate from here, going up into the boiler through that uh, filter there. Then we have a gas supply run that's currently on the other side of this wall is where the gas meter is. So it comes in, runs all the way along. On this floor as you can see it here you know, there to go into the kitchen and then it's running along so all of that needs to be shifted from here uh, so all of that will go in the roof and some more pipe work that we have to relocate to clear this area so I'm planning on running all the pipe work in the ceiling up above and dropping it down so that section can get boxed in and then we need to go on the other side of this wall anyway so it's a tight space where this boiler is going to end up and we're going to have a lot of pipe work including that manifold to go in there so we're going to have to position everything well and it's got a hive connected to it so we'll just deal with that that also needs to be shifted to the other side so yeah we'll make a start on this thankfully customers already drilled a hole for the flue on the other side which i mentioned it to him a couple of days back and he's quite hands on himself he's the one who's done all of this digging as you can see for his toilet pipe work because this, this will be converted into a bedroom and a toilet bathroom next to it uh, so yeah let's make a start and I'll keep you posted let me take you to the flue position of where the flue pipe is going to be so side of the building that's where it is currently can see it's quite a narrow space uh, but that's where 
is positioned right now and that's where it's going to get shifted to so it's going to be slightly in the way as you can see that's sticking out but that's higher up and that's going to be further down there but that's where customer wants it to be so that's where it's going to end up and then there's no drain point on this side at all as you can see all this water puddled up so we're going to have to try and terminate the condensate internally which is always better but there's no drain point in close vicinity as you can see even on the back so we're just going to have to terminate that condensate internally somehow so that's what it looks like gas meter is just on the side here so yeah it's a challenge well let's get on with it okay guys so this is what we have up here in the loft as you can see so panels up on the roof these two pipes that you're seeing so these are circulation pipes for the coil inside this unvented cylinder uh, and then we have cold feed going into it a portable expan expansion vessel and they have their unit just there and the overflow from that unit they've terminated it here as you can see and that is the overflow pipe the d2 pipe from the cylinder that's going out and then it's connected to that plastic pipe that's running down so all i've done is i've isolated it from the top there so there's no cold water going into the cylinder now so there should be nothing coming out of that hot water side so the two pipes which are going down don't have much water in them now so we can literally drain the rest of the system and make it work i'm going to isolate this as well so it's not just boiling this water in all honesty currently it's got literally no heat going into the cylinder anyway but i'll just isolate it to be on the safe side about to take out this flue now as you can see i made a little pathway for myself and flue needs to be fully sealed and cemented around but as you can see whoever's done it previously they've not done a very good job but that's a good news for me one it'll be easy to take it out and secondly we may be able to reuse this again because it's just going there so it's not going to be any further distance and i may be able to push it back a bit as well to terminate it properly with no white showing because there's no need to okay and that pipe if you're wondering what that pipe is that's an overflow pipe coming from the cylinder above so we can easily just relocate that and it's not even going into a goodie or anything that's just sitting there as you can see so we can just shift that slightly away from the fluid itself so the boiler is now sat here it's been removed I've cut all the pipe work, got the flue out all in one piece, the solar malachi is all disconnected now so I need to shift inside, I'm going to be putting a new filter on it and all of this pipe work needs to be taken to the new location, electrics turned off, disconnected and made secure. And drain off, uh, I've just connected a washing machine hose to it and it's connected to a washing machine connector, straight connector. Then my rubber hose going into this lovely drain system. So let's have a look where the boiler is going to go then. I've also done a tightness test prior to going into gas pipe. Pipe work, there's no gas leaks on it whatsoever. So internally the new location is here whilst the lovely customer is helping us along okay so yeah that's where the boiler is going to go and just behind his shoulder is where the flue pipe is look at him fighting hey there you go it's going to come up okay so that's where we're going to end up so new flue obviously we need to 
cut it a bit short once we've got the boiler on then we can measure it accordingly and pour it in this will get blocked off new PRV and condensate we are still considering whether to do a soak away with the saturated ground already uh, or to come up with a solution internally but let's see okay guys so piping's nearly done I've just put the wiring in. And I'm about to fill the system. What's up? What do you want? Don't be shy now. Let's fill the system up then. Come on. Come on, let's see. Yeah, that's how you do it, yeah? Mm -hmm. Can you see the, those two valves there? You just need to top it up, yeah? All right then. Okay, so the boiler is now relocated under stairs. We've done all the pipe work. Condensate pipe is going outside currently, and customer will make a decision whether they want to put a gully outside and terminate in there or soak it away. Uh, but it's just currently just going outside. And the rest of it looks like this. We've got a filter, isolation valves on all the pipes hot and cold uh, as well as heating and an isolation valve on gas as well pressure reducing valve which is needed uh, for the solar cylinder upstairs and this manifold here is again to do with the solar cylinder um, upstairs which is an un unvented cylinder uh, that's getting warmed by the solar panels up on the roof and then the water from it comes down if the water is hot enough in the cylinder it will just go directly to the taps hot taps and if it's just lukewarm then it will run through the boiler and it works as a preheat so basically the cold feed going into the boiler is this pipe the bottom pipe as you can see and it's coming out of that manifold so it's not cold water coming from the street it's actually lukewarm water that's coming from the cylinder enters the boiler so it makes it efficient and it's not costing as much the top two pipes coming down are the ones coming from the cylinder up in the loft uh, one's going to it as cold water supply and another one's coming down as hot water feed into this manifold uh, but yeah that's what it looks like if you have any questions do let me know in the comment section below and i'll see you in the next one bye for now